Hey guys, what's up? It's the new Nels and you are now locked into The Chosen. Follow me on my journey where I focus on lyricism within the hip hop culture. In present day, hip hop lyricism is very hard to find. However, we have taken the time to show you with this art form today. Today, lyricism lives within the battle rap culture. And my first guest is Smack White's URL own, Ultimate Rap League. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, how you doing? Nunu Nels, man. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be sitting across from you, you know. Congratulations. So, with thank this you. New position. You know what I mean? I'm excited. And um, what's up? What's going on? How we doing? Thank you. How how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, you know. Yeah. Very good. So a lot I would I would say a lot of people within the hip hop culture knows you, but for the people that don't know Smack White, who is Smack White? Smack White is a young black entrepreneur that basically followed his dream in pursuing a, a presence in the hip hop culture. Well, following your dream, how did this dream come about? Like, was you walking one day and seeing something cool? Like, how, how did um, it start? Well, basically, like, you know, I grew up as a hip hop fan when I was younger, you know, um, coming up listening to Ron DMC, Houdini. Karis One, you know, um, Fat Boys, you, you name it, like, you know, early hip hop, you know, I was always a fan, Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, you know, the list goes on and on and on, all of, you know what I'm saying, the the, the, the founding fathers of, of, of the hip hop culture, like, you know, I was really in tune with that, and as I got older, you know, um, I, I, I just, my interest just, you know, attracted my my my, I was just attracted to it, like, you know, um, a lot of dudes from my neighborhood, was in um, the music industry as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they basically, you know, inspired me and, sh and showed me that, you know, it's possible to, uh, like, you know, make something happen for yourself with inside this, you know, hip hop industry. So, you know, um, I, I definitely, you know, tried my hand with it, you know, and, you know, made it happen. So it's safe to say that you do have a good ear for talent, but at what point did you say, well, I'm talented too. I can pick up this camera and do what I need to do. Yeah, I just try to come inside the hip hop culture in a different way than everybody else was running to the hip hop culture doing. You know, um, where I'm from, you know, you was either you know a, a DJ, you used, or you used to rap, or you or did play beats. Ball. All play ball. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> ball is not really the hip-hop culture. It is, but it's not. But, like, you know, when it comes down to the music, mm -hmm. it was, like, those three doors that, you know, was the main target of entry when it came to, like, you know, getting into the music business, you know, from where I'm from, from my neighborhood. And exactly you know? where are you from? I'm from Shadyville, Queens. Queens Village. Very talented you know? people out there. Yeah. So, know? within getting this camera, what was the, the struggle? Did you... First of all, how did you get the camera? Was you working at a young age? Because you started really young. So what was the process of you getting a camera? Did did you ask your parents? Did they believe in the vision? How, how did we go about purchasing that camera? How did you know it was the right camera? Because you have a social media is so big right now, and everybody's, you know, trying to pick up a camera. They probably don't know what kind of camera or just does it matter? Yeah, um, it definitely matters. But, like, you know, um, I take it back a little further, like, you know, um, you know, I'm from Shadyville, Queens, you know, um, you know, a lot of dudes from my neighborhood was in the music business from Sha Money XL, DJ Clue, DJ Clue first. I gotta say DJ Clue because he was like the first one to really like break the doors and, you know, made the transition from being like underground doing his thing in the streets with, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, his CDs and really crossed over and really got, you know, uh, mainstream when he linked up with, you know, Rockefeller Records and, you know, this basically, you know, uh, you know, had that, you know, opportunity for himself. So, you know, that was big for the neighborhood. That showed everybody, like, you know, wow, you know what I mean? It's possible. But, you know, DJ Envy, me and DJ Envy was, you know what I'm saying, in the same class for, like, the first six years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Shout out to my boy Envy. Um, you know, Steve Stout. Um, Steve Stout is definitely from, you know what I'm saying, you know, the neighborhood. Uh, self-service beats, you know. I mean, it's a lot of different dudes that's in uh, DJ Who Kid. I'm just trying to make sure I get everybody in, but, like, you know what I mean? You know, um, there's a lot of dudes that, you know, was in the game, and, you know, they just showed me that it's possible, but I didn't want to come in the game the same way 
and doing the same thing that they was doing. I try right. to come, you know, a whole different way so, you know, I could create, you know, me my own identity and just, you know, try to create my own lane and my own presence in the game. So, you know, I picked up the camera. You know, I mean, I used to listen to the DJ Clue tapes and they inspired me when, you know, I used to hear all these dudes freestyling and, you know, I'm like, sitting in my room like damn it'd be dope if i could actually see these dudes laying down this track or like see these dudes in the studio like oh you know i became a fan of listening to some of these dudes music from like d block jada kiss i i wanted to see you know if they was really about what they was saying in their rhymes but how did you you know what i mean how did you get through that door is it you you built it off oh, yeah. one I, relationship I you, at I'm, a time I'm, 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 or I'm you was you, aggressive nah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk you through it i'm gonna walk you through it so you know that inspired me so like you know what i mean now i'm sitting in a room like damn like what i gotta do like you know what i mean to make that happen what i gotta do to basically you know show the world who these people really are you know when they not you know, really on the track or when they not in the studio, like, you know what I mean? Do they really live that life they talking about? Like, you know, so, I mean, I got the necessary equipment. I locked myself. I started to do the research. I started getting, like, you know, um, making magazines and shit. That was like a magazine that had, like, all the technology with the latest cameras and latest uh, editing equipment and everything like that. Um, locked myself in a room, reading up looking at like what cameras I needed to basically and this is this is like this is like what year was this, this? is like ninety this is like like ninety nine two thousand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like this is pre YouTube, no it ain't even no such thing as a blog. Yeah. So the grind was, was different. You yeah, definitely the grind had was to... definitely different. Like, you know, it, we was living in a in a in a in a in a uh, physical a, a physical world, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. When I say it's a, it's a physical world and it's a digital world, we live yeah. in a digital age right now. But back then, it was all like physical distribution, like tapes, CDs, things that you could actually you had to listen to the music on. Now you just you know what I mean, listen through music on your phone or files or whatever. Like you know what I mean. So you know it was a whole different you know way of living back then. But um, yeah, I got you know the necessary knowledge and I educated myself on what I needed to actually make it happen, and I acquired the equipment. You know, I mean, I used to work jobs, I used to hustle on the side just like everybody else. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? I I, I could get it. You know what I'm saying? I got it. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know I I, I um. I made it happen, you know what I'm saying? I got the equipment, you know, um, boom, I got the computer because it fascinated me when I could actually, you know, when I seen that you could, the technology caught up with the times where you could actually go buy a home computer and a camera and then actually import the uh, footage inside the computer, make your own edits. I thought that was hot. Like, I'm like, oh, shit, like, yo, that... That it fascinated me, like, yo, this shit is hot. Like, so you know, I did it, boom, got the equipment, you know, locked myself in, uh, uh, uh learned how to use it, and then I started uh running around shooting um videos for like, you know, what I mean, my friends in the, in the neighborhood that knew how to rap. Like, yo, let's do a video real quick, you know what I mean? You know, ain't you know, anybody that you know, what I mean, so you wasn't have the at passion to rap. It's gonna <laughs> not gonna say no to a video. They right. be like, yo, come on, let's do it. Shoot, so, let's shoot. You know, was you um, charging at that time? Nah, I wasn't charging. I wasn't charging at all. I, I I was just doing it for the love. I was excited to do it. It's like a a, a new. It was like a, a a a new, you know, hobby for me. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It was like something that you know I was interested in that 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 gave me joy to do. Mm-hmm. You know? So you didn't straight gun for like celebrities. You was like. You took the camera and said, hey, the people around me have yeah. talent. Let me focus on that. Yeah, let me focus on, and, you know, I mean, yeah, let me focus on that. You know, let me shoot some videos. You know, my videos was high. It wasn't nothing crazy, but it was good enough for people to respect it. You know what I mean? So once I made that happen, you know what I mean, started shooting for, you know, the boys in the hood, all my friends and all that, then it was like, all right, you know what I mean? Now it's time to, like, you know, really, like, I got my confidence up, you know. My, I felt that, you know, my skills got to a point where I felt it could actually be represented be represented um, in the world. Right. Where, you know what I mean, if I go run up on somebody, they'll respect it. Like, oh, all right, cool. So, you know, I started running up on the rappers. You know what I'm saying? Um, My first piece of content that I ever acquired was... uh. 
me and my man, my brother Tone Bird. Shout mm-hmm. out to Tone Bird. You know what I'm saying? Me, him, we jumped in a whip. You know what I mean? He had a line, you know what I'm saying, with um, Dipset. They was out in D.C. And they was shooting a Hey My video shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We went out there. Boom. I got all the behind the scenes running up on them. Yo, what's up? Yo, this is what we doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, state property was there. Shout out to the whole state property. Because, you know what I'm saying? Once I told them what I was doing, it's like, all right, yo, come on. Let's do it. Because... They it's not like it. they they respect it because you know what I'm saying it's like it's like people that they could relate to like you know what right. I mean they, I mean, we 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 all from the neighborhood so I mean they from Philly we from New York we New York dudes they Philly dudes but they they feel the energy we feel the energy we respect the gangsters so you know they like what y'all trying to do I'm like but before you ran up on them was you doing DVDs already nah I'm, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna walk you through it I got you you know what I'm saying so boom that was the first piece of content that, you know what I'm saying, I acquired at Hey My Video Shoot. Ran up on state property. Yo, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to do a DVD magazine. Yo, let me let me let me let me get some bars. You know what I'm saying? Petey Crack, Emilio um Esquino, Emilio Sparks, um, um, Freeway, you know, um, um, you know, we all just went in the corner, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean? They just gave me bars rapping. Yo, crazy. I made a movie out of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So once I did that, boom, you know, I ran up on Cam and them too. Like, you know, when, you know, it was their video shoot. You know what I mean? When you say giving bars, was they battling? Spitting. Nah, they wasn't battling. In a battle form? Nah, nah, nah. Everybody just, you know what I mean? was spitting they rhymes. Like, you know what I mean? PD will go. Yo, it's PD Crack. Da, 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 da. He'll flow. Then Freeway will jump in. Yo, da, 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 da. you know what I mean? Then Emilio jump in. You know what I mean? Chris Neef jump in. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? So, you know, I took that, chopped it up, make that shit look so crazy. Started running around all the other rap. Yo, look, this is what we doing. Don't miss mm. the boat. What's up, dude? And they seeing that shit. They like, mmm, that shit hard. Yo, boom. Started, you know what I mean? Running up on all rappers. Shoot, shot him now. Now I shot them. Now I got like, all this content, I'm like, yeah. And like, now, <laughs> you know what I mean? I could throw this shit on a DVD. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I put all our content on the DVD, packaged it up. You know, I gave Juel the Santana the cover because he was like, you know what I'm saying, the youngest, hottest thing moving, you know what I'm saying, at that time. And, um, you know, um, I just, you know, printed up the DVD and started servicing it around the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was already, you know, familiar with, like, you know, the underground. And this is when the mom and pops store, you still have record stores to go buy your music and right. your, your, your cassettes and everything like that. So, I mean, I used to run around with Clue, you know what I'm saying, dropping mixtapes. So I knew, like, I had this store list, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I just basically, you know you know, basically distribute, you know what I'm saying, my product, you know what I mean, in stores and I grew the store list, like, you know what I'm saying? So You really yeah. paid attention to your surroundings, and I think that's what's so dope about you. And mm. even the kids growing up now, like, your your surroundings plays a big part in your life. Absolutely. You've seen Clue, you've seen all these people doing all these different things. Yeah. You paid attention to where a DJ drops his stuff off. Now you start selling you start selling. Did you sell the DVDs at yeah, that point? Yeah, you put it, nah, put it in the store. From you day sold one, them? For my, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Day one. You know what I mean? We were selling the DVDs. It was a DVD magazine. It was like an upgrade from the mixtapes because, like, you know what I mean? The mixtapes are dope. You know what I mean? You can hear the music that all these dudes are spitting, but now with the DVD, it, it, it brought the visualization to the whole Hip hop community. Now they can see. Now you know what I mean. I, I, I you know, manifested my idea mm. with the whole like I want to see these dudes rhyme and I want to go to their neighborhood. I want to be in the studio with them. And that's what the Smack DVD movement was all about. Just getting a behind the scenes footage of all these rappers or your favorite hip hop stars that you won't normally see on BET or MTV, raw and uncut. Like, you know what I mean? You'll get them smoking. You'll get them in the studio. And mind you, for the people that's new and don't get it, why this was important? Because there was no Instagram Live, no no Facebook Live. There was no YouTube. Yeah, no YouTube. So the only time you got to see one of your favorite artists, your up-and-coming artists, 
just in their element. They consider Smack DVD to be the Bible of of, of the streets. This is the Bible. That's where you know, it's the Bible of the streets. Like that's where you get all your information. That's where if you know somebody feels some type of way about somebody else, they're gonna call me and they're gonna come talk to my camera and let the world know what it is. Like you know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't do that. You can't call BET or MTV and do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they like yo man, yo call Smack, yo boom boom, yo man, yo this 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 that and the third and I. I caught crazy content. Like I was just in a, in a in the right place at the right time in a lot of situations that you know. What I mean, it's just memorable footage that you know. What I mean, will always live in in, in the culture of hip hop. So when you said that they would want to call you to get something off, uh, I do feel like a lot of media outlets today they don't know how to pay, play the positive man in the middle. It's always it's biased. Did you ever get caught up in anything because nah, it was on Smack nah, DVD? Nah. Or people just understood, I'm just filming. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I'll go sit down with Fat Joe and then go sit down with 50 Cent. And At the time when, you know, they cool now, and I and I love the United, you know what I mean, when people <laughs> unite, you know what I'm saying? Because we all brothers and sisters at the end of the day. But, um, like, you know, you know. It was rough. I, 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 I'll sit down <laughs> with Fifth, and then I'll go sit down with Ja. <laughs> What's up? I'm here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know, I'm smack. I ain't picking up nobody's flag. I got my own flag. I bang my own sets. That's my set. And, you know, when I pull up, that's what it is. You know? But when you say I'm smack, what does smack mean for the people that don't know? Well, this basically, is for the smack the... was my name before all of this. Like, right. You know what I mean? When I was in junior high school, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Queens, you know, in Queens. New York, like, it was an era back when, you know what I mean, everybody had limestone hats. You would go to Shirt King in the Coliseum, go get your limestone hat <laughs> with your with your block on the side. You know what I'm saying? You had, you everybody, like, where I'm from, nobody don't know nobody's government name. Like, we all in the streets. Everybody got, you know what I'm saying, an alias or, or a nickname or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. basically, mine's was a little smack. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, and all the neighborhoods that I had, I'm from. I had Liberty hats. I had Shadyville hats. You know what I'm saying? I, I had Matt because I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I rep a lot of different sets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was my name, Smack. Like, you know what I mean? So I just basically flipped my name into my company and just basically made it an acronym for Streets, Music, Arts, Culture, and Knowledge. That's the breakdown of Smack because that's what I represent. I represent the streets, the music. You know, the art form, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of emceeing and, and lyricism and lyrics and all that, you know what I mean? Art, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, we all love the art, like, you know, and, and knowledge, you know. People, I want to spread knowledge to the world. So, you know, I came up with the ac acronym and, um, you know, you know, I just repped it, you know what I mean? I made a brand out of it. And you're doing an extremely great job. Yeah. So, Thank so you. following. Thank you. Following that, chasing around celebs or your 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 neighborhood guys. When did you say, yo, I wanna I wanna start a lead? Did you see someone on the corner rapping and did, how I mean, did you first, come up with battle he, rap? The, first of all, I'm the godfather of battle rap. Like, That's you a know fact. what I'm saying? Just hands down because I'm gonna tell you why I'm the godfather of battle rap. I got Puff Daddy to host my first battle ever on camera. You know what I mean? But I, I, this, before this that, is this is what a new nah, view but is. We, but like that, that, that was the new way. But like mm -hmm. you know, that's why. That's why I'm. That's why I feel like boom, co-signed by Diddy from day one, right? But like you know, I mean, battle rap was something that we all used to love doing and watching and mm -hmm. being a part of. Like you know, what I'm saying coming up. You know what I mean? In high school, beating on a lunch table, who got the illest rhymes, going in the staircase, battling and shit like that. I just basically caught it on camera. Pardon me if I curse too. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yo, I just got I just caught it on camera. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I wanted to represent and show that art form. I wanted to give that art form a platform where people could respect it as an art form, if that makes sense. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because Battle rap was something different, but it was so entertaining to me that I felt that I needed to have it represented on my Smack DVD platform. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because Smack DVD wasn't all about battle. It wasn't not. I just closed off the DVD at the end of each DVD with a battle. You know what I mean? But it was interviews. It was music. It was a bunch of other just other things that you know I was into at the time. 
So was it what, like basically you got a call say, yo, this is this is going down yeah. in Harlem yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Mills, you know what I mean? Shout out to Mills, you know what I'm saying? Jay Mills called me like, yo, we about to go to Daddy's house. I'm about to kill somebody real quick. I'm like, all right, I'm coming through. You know what I mean? Everybody used to call me. I'm mm-hmm. keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Went up there and um, you know what I mean? That's when he battled uh Sir, Ca- Sir Castro. Mm-hmm. Castro. You know what I'm saying? And you was or, like, whoa. Nah, I mean, it, it was it was it was it wasn't like whoa. It was just like I was I was I was I was happy that we finally caught, you know what I mean, one of these because, you know, it's something you would hear about word of the mouth. Technology, not yeah, the word word of mouth, but it, the technology back then wasn't really out like that. Mm-hmm. So like now that we have, you know, you know, now that I had the cameras, you know what I mean, I could I could I could show the things that, you know what I mean, we were used to doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or, or 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 you know, what the people what I wanted to show people, you know what I mean, through my, you know what I mean, interest of what I want. In life, or like what I enjoy in life, you know. And it saying? also gave and people a different look on when they think of the hood. There are so many talented people in the hood. There's so many other things that happens in the hood besides gang violence or drugs. Yeah. You know, it's other ways that people in the hood express themselves. Exactly. So I'm. It was. It's, this yeah. is exciting to know. Yeah, Ooh. I was like, I was like a news reporter basically. <laughs> like, you know, what I'm saying just reporting live from different sets. How long would it take you to drop something? Uh, I used to because now it's so much yeah, content coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it, back then it was like every like three months a new DVD would come out. Uh, yeah, like every quarter, you know what I'm saying? Because it took me time. Like I'm in Atlanta, I'm in LA, I'm in New York. You know what I'm saying? Just going to get a bunch of footage. You know what I mean? Just to make a a good collaboration of of, of work, and then put it on one disc and then. Services out, so I'll have Jeezy and you know uh, uh, somebody else on the cover. Wait, so they would call you to go to them places because nah, you're not you're I, not just I, going I, I, just nah, going I was to in the streets though. Like once I'm in the once I got my first DVD popping, I'm in the game now. It's like oh, uh, it's like that's it. It's it. That's it. Like I'm I'm in the game. I snuck I snuck I snuck in the game with a camera. You know what I mean? That's why they they say that I snuck it myself in the game with a camera. Once I got my first DVD, everybody seen what it was. Like, oh, shit, that shit is hot. Yo, call him. Yo, we need him. Yo, boom, boom. Yo, where you at? Yo, yo, pull up. Yo, smack. Yo, yo, I got a line on smack. Where you at? All right, yo, tell me. Yo, that's, all, that's how it went down. Yeah. Being persistent in the ground. Yeah, I used to stand outside the clubs and get drops. Buster and all them will tell you. D.Y., Rough Riders, they, 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 those, those, they, that, that's why they respect me. That's why, because they see me come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing and, and, and really like, you know, got to it and, you know, established my presence in this game without no major cosigning, no major situation, on my own, independent, you know. And being comfortable in any hood. Yeah. Cause that's what it takes too. Yeah, just yeah, to I'm get up on a plane and, and just go to Atlanta or something, don't know nobody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you definitely gotta, you know what I mean, have, you know, a, a great deal of respect and you know, uh, yeah, respect. You know, not anybody could do that. You know, no, that's Let's keep true. it real. Like, you know, what I mean, people don't know how to handle situations. Not saying that you know I'm a tough guy, not 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 nothing like that, but just like how to just deal with people. Right. You know how to keep your word. How to do good business. You know what I'm saying? Where you don't. Nobody don't gotta feel like you know what I mean. Yo, I don't like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Feel no type of way about you, like. I've been in the game for a minute. You don't hear no wild stories about me, like no, because I practice good business with everybody. You know what I mean? I, I that's what I do. I show love. You know what I'm saying? And they respect me for that. Like yo, I re, you know what I mean? You, you know what I'm saying? Yo, he's he's a real dude. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they love you for that. You don't gotta be extra. Extra, mm-hmm. exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I definitely understand. So we got how you started, but now. You have this big platform, it's URL, the Ultimate Rap League. You have celebrities coming out. Yeah. You've, you know, opened up the platform, BT, Freestyle Friday. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're doing movies. Yeah. Basically about what you're doing. Yeah. How did that? Yeah. Uh, uh, how did that happen? Yeah. You had Diddy yeah. hanging from a balcony, yeah. meth there. Yeah. 
Yeah, come on. <laughs> Jada Kid, yeah. Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on your stage. Yeah. It, Kevin Durant, Kevin James Durant, Harden. The, the, the ball players doing? come what, out. What, what, what are we talking about? Like, you know, oh, man, that feels good, man. Like, you know, I just... <sighs> All right, the URL, man, is, 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 is a powerful movement. Like, you know what I mean? For the love that, you know, I mentioned earlier that I had for the art form of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to organize it a little more you know um i had to basically make a transition from the physical world that we spoke about earlier when you had you know now let's talk like 2005 mm -hmm. youtube came in existence boom kind of changed the game you know um you know your content with rappers and everything kind of like depreciated because like now they technology just caught yeah they they technology caught up with time you know um everybody got their own cameras mm -hmm. you know everybody is shooting um you know interviews with rappers now you know blogs no one tried to sign you exclusively to them nah that would have been crazy yeah because nah. then you went uh, yeah probably been who you are today yeah nah nah you know I mean my my contributions to the hip hop culture was just so orthodox and different mm -hmm. that I feel like a lot of people just didn't know how to or what how to monetize me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How I'm gonna get money like you know what I'm saying? Right. They didn't get it. It's they not still really rated it. R. Yeah. They still don't get it to this day. Because when you, know you when you when you were on BT they did bleep, you know, yeah. a few curse words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We paused but it out. But did you take, did you take the money that you made from the DVD to get the first venue that you had, or yeah, not even the first venue? venue. We're kind of moving yeah. a little too fast. Yeah, not. I How mean, did you find the the talent to put a card together? Because you know you're gonna have battle fans watching it, but then you yeah. might have. I mean, I got a team of people, like you know, what I mean that you know, I mean, all right. So the URL. So basically. You know, the rapper content kind of depreciated, you know. Um, it wasn't as potent, you know what I mean? Then you had World Star coming in existence, you know what I'm saying? And now it's just like, you know, everybody's just, you know, getting content and you're seeing rappers and, like, you know, I mean, I'm not running around, flying around for two, three months to get, you know, content. You know, the, the the information started moving faster. Like, you can't even hold information no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? For the time that it would take me to go to this spot, that spot, that spot, you know what I mean? I get a piece of content, you know what I mean? Come they back. already uploaded it. It's already old. Like, One you know minute I mean? of it. Like, the information with the with the internet itself mm -hmm. came into, um, you know, came into play, and it, it really speed up how people was receiving information at the time so like i had to just make a whole new transition you know what i mean now when it came to like the battles you know that was a, a form of hip-hop entertainment that people really enjoyed you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying so i wanted to basically organize that and expand on that and create a new form of hip-hop entertainment right. which is battle rap you understand what i'm saying um so in 2009, you know, what we did was we just organized it because we've been doing the battles. Like, Who's you know what, what we? Who is we? Me and my team. You mm -hmm. know, Beasley. You know what I'm saying? Chico. You know, you know that's, that's, that's my, those are my... Your partners. Yeah, those mm -hmm. are my brothers. You know what I'm saying? That they've been with me from day one and always supported my vision and always, you know what I mean, just really, like, you know, did what they had to do to help me, you know, create you know, what we have. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it is what it is. But, um, you know, um, 2009, you know, what we did was we just basically took it, we organized it, you know, because when we used to do it outside in the parks on the DVDs, it would still be like 100, 200 people out there just watching, enjoying right. it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so. Like, yo, why not make a business out of it? Let's brand it up. Let's let's get put it in a venue. Get you know what I mean? These people to come charge ticket. You know what I mean? And, and create a business. So like, I single handedly made a whole new industry with inside the hip hop industry. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where you know dudes that you know aren't like mainstream artists or mainstream you know 
um, musicians could actually do something that they love to do, get paid for it, travel different cities, and you know what I'm saying, have the opportunity to take care of their families. You but know? right now, today, tickets can go from about maybe one fifty to two fifty. Yeah. How, how much was tickets back in the early two thousand? I mean, the, I mean, two thousand. I mean, like two thousand nine is when we started the URL TV TV mm-hmm. movement. But um, like I I did like you know um my first six six events free. Like you just put them in a venue. I just put uh, yeah I just I just put them in a venue, promoted it, and just let everybody come in for free. Mm -hmm. Just to show people what it was. You understand what I'm saying? Just to show people, get them hooked. Like, you gotta, you know what I mean? It's like no different than, you know what I mean? If you hustling, you gotta throw out the samples. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, free. Free of charge. You know, got the footage, put it out there. Everybody's like, yo, I wanna go, I wanna go there. And then, you know, I started, you know, Charging a, a, a interest fee, where you know now we could uh, you know compensate the the, the 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 artists and the talent, you know mm-hmm. what I mean through that you know formula, and you know what I mean that's where we at today, like you know what I mean we created an industry. But from two thousand and nine, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe two thousand ten, two thousand eleven, they started getting paid. Mm-hmm. Now at at that point, today it's you know you don't want to throw any numbers out there, yeah, but nah, they, they get people money. getting paid. Five, money. five to ten thousand yeah, to, yeah, to rap for nine, nine minutes. minutes. Facts. That's that's the beauty of it. You know, that's the beauty of what you know we created. You know, we created an industry. It's not a game. It's a sport. You know, um, this is what we do. And you know, there's people that actually do this for a living. Mm-hmm. Was there living. preparation time? Because now today, for those that don't know, they have about two to three months preparation sometimes. Back then, you they you let them know, hey, we all gonna be here at this day. Like they had preparation. They, did they know who they was battling in? Yeah, 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 like, definitely. You know, what it's was not, the format? Yeah, it's not. You know, we, we we set up matches and we set a date. You know what I mean? We set up a match. You 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 gonna go against this person and then you know they do they just they do their research and you know they 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 do what they gotta do to put the best piece of material together mm-hmm. against their opponent for their opponent. And then they show up the day and they go at it. And research was kind of different than it is today. Because although things was moving with the internet then, yeah, it wasn't how it is now. Nah. I Where, mean, yeah, yeah. Like, it was a little different, but they still had access to the internet. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, you know, that's... Basically, where everybody's gonna get their information from, unless you really know somebody personally, where you could get you know the information from somebody that they might not they they might know mm-hmm. that don't you know what I mean like right. yo, you know they you know they air they laundry out to you know what I mean some your opponent and you get the, the the information from somebody and bring it to the battle. And, so you know. standing right there in the middle, I'm t- I'm talking about the the 2010. Mm-hmm. At no moment did you say, dang, this could get violent. Nah, like, you know what I mean? It's it's just a sport. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, 2010 was the, the, the like, you know, the the exception and, like, the birth of the URL. But, like, we've been doing this. Right. I mean, it's been and has gotten violent, you know, you know, a couple of times. Once in a while, people lose their composure. Like, in any other sport they do. You know what I mean? You see fights on... In the NBA, you see right. fights on the football field. You see baseball teams going at it. You know, anything where it's competition and, you know, is emotions involved, you, you're you going to have that, you, you you know, it's just nature, you know. But, you know, they can't look bad on us mm-hmm. <laughs> because there's really no fights. There's probably, like, two incidents from, like, you know, that I can remember, you know what I mean, out of 10 years. You understand what I'm right. saying? Right, because so, sometimes people you know, be like, wow. But, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, the MCs, you know, know what they signing up for. Mm-hmm. They respect it as a sport. And, you know, they got good sportsmanship. So, you know, I mean, this is this this is not like, you know, this is this is this is a business at the end of the day. And and they they, tr- they treat themselves like businessmen mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know. So, yeah. But the what was easier, finding talent back then or you feel like finding it now? 
Because it's mean, different. I, Back then, it was so yeah, raw and yeah, so yeah. street. I mean, it was a, it's a lot of talent out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, if you feel like you got the necessary skills and, you know, there's a bigger platform, you know, you're going to want to be a part of that platform. Right. You understand? So, so t- talent comes. And you know we got scouts. You know, you know, you know, you know what's going on. You know, you go, yo. I get calls from you, like, yo. You need to look at this dude right here, like, you know. What I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? but that, that's that's different. I'm mm. I'm I'm speaking more for the people that I want the first time viewer to view this and say, wow, I need to check that out. Yeah. It's not what I thought it was when I hear the word battle rap. Right. When I hear smack white, it's it's totally the opposite. It's, right. Like you said, it's a business. You're providing for. You're giving out jobs. Absolutely. Because some people been in jail. They can't get a job, but they got this talent. Absolutely. You, you putting people on TV. Absolutely. While they're branding on your platform, they're also starting their own clothing lines. Absolutely. Like you have your Hollow to Dawn from, from Queens who has started a clothing Shout line. Shout out to Hollow. L-O-M. Yeah, he has Let's a clothing it. line. And these are people all over around the world. Now, when you did first start, there was a, a air that you had, which was more so street. And then you took that into the battle rap. But mm-hmm. now if you watch battle rap today, everyone's not a street rapper. Yeah. You know, it's not about yeah, it's not church. about the street. Yeah, it's not about being a street. It's mm-hmm. about this having the skills. Right. You know, there's 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 teachers that battle rap. You know what I mean? Real it is. Deal. Yeah. You know what I'm like, you know, so it, it's it's like it, it's an art form that's appreciated and spread it around the world. Like you got leagues that is popping up in all different territories of the world because they was expired from what we started, you know, and, and the art form that we promoted on the Smack DVD. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So going from the Smack DVD, creating your own platform, giving out jobs, giving out opportunities, and now, just like the Smack DVD era, now you have people dropping stuff, dropping stuff. In this case, you have other leagues just popping up. Do you feel like that's it's oversaturating, you know, everything that you build. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was the same thing with the DVD. When I came out with the DVD, you know, um, there was tons of DVDs after that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Once they caught on to, like, you know, the formula and what it is and what I, what I was doing and in, in the success, the success that, you know, uh, you you we had, I had, like, you know, they're going to want to copy it. You know right. what I'm saying? They're going to feel like they could do it too. You know, anything that you have that's successful within 18 months, you're going to have a competitor if it's successful. Like, guys, it's going to be something that's going to, hold. Oh, yo, they getting it like that? Nah. Let me try it. You mm-hmm. know, you, it is. It's just part of the game. You just got to be, you know what I'm saying, the best at what you do. So how do you keep it from always being number one? Because it is safe to say the URL platform is the platform that every artist wants to be at. Every basketball player wants to come. Every football player wants to come. Every kid growing up, even if they battle somewhere else, right? they want to come to URL. Yeah. It's so how do you keep the, the, the new ideas just, just flowing? Being, yeah, just being the best. You know what I mean? Just being the best. Just being the best. And how did you kick down the BT doors and all the just, the just, big brands? Just, um, just, just... Really, just being um, persistent with with, with 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 the work, and you know, um, you know, like people see what's going on out here. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we help they quarterly they quarterly ratings spike for you know what I'm saying the 106 and Park show. You know what I'm saying, um, you know, so they 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 utilized you know what was hot in the streets and. And gave us an opportunity to get on their platform, and it was a it was a good marriage, you know. Um, you know, so it, it went when the 106 and Park show went, you right? Know I mean? Because it wasn't its own show, but like you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it, they definitely went out with a bang with that it, one. Yeah, they definitely, you know, yeah. And the great thing, if if you guys miss that, you can still upload that. Yeah, so you can, you can watch it yeah. on BET, or, the or website. Go to URLTV.TV. I mean, YouTube, the YouTube channel. YouTube forward slash the URLTV. Like, you know, it's all there. So going from TV, now you have some of your your battlers perform for the BET Awards. Mm-hmm. You even open up with Snoop. How was that? Oh, that was that was that was that was a, a, 
a classic moment in my life and my career, you know, um, being a fan of Snoop for uh, so long to actually, you know, um, have a segment with him on the BET Awards was just, uh, it's, it's, it's just like, it's, it's just crazy. Like, I, I, I cherish those moments like that for, 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 for my, my whole life, you know what I'm saying? You know, at the end of the day, you know, he, he's like one of the, you know, godfathers of the newer era of hip hop that, you know, you know, showed us how to like, you know, get money, more so money than than than, than the founding fathers. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? So, man, nah, I love Snoop, man. Snoop is just so cool, man. He took me in, you know. Um, yeah, man, it's just crazy, man. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I just, you know what I mean? That's that was just one of the moments in my life that I will always remember and cherish. You know, and some I mean, people may not know that because yeah. they always, since they've seen you, you always had to them a mainstream artist. Yeah. So they probably didn't know like that's how you felt in that moment. Oh yeah, now nah, he pretty sure. Like you know, I mean, if he don't know now, he know. If he see this, you know what I mean. But um, you know, it's all love though. You know, it's definitely all love. You know what I mean? It's all love. How did you go about picking which battlers you'll get to perform? Cause that that's big. Yeah, that that's that could have took them off. Yeah. Cause from there, people gonna check out the artists. They're gonna check to see if they have music. Yeah, absolutely. How did um, you go about that? Um, just who was hot at the time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it's, it's hard because you can't put everybody on. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So, it was just who was really like you know motivated with you know helping, you know us with the movement. You know mm -hmm. we show that love and support back. Mm -hmm. You know we try to do our best to try to you know compensate as many artists as possible because mm -hmm. you know we don't want to be unfair. But like at the end of the day. It's just one of the situations you can't take everybody with you. Like right. if I could, you I would, but you know what I mean. So it was just like whoever had the momentum at the time, to be honest. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. from you know my research and being blessed to yeah. be able to be around and yeah. represent your platform, I think you had about fifteen people. Yeah, yeah, Cause went we three it, times, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 we had a couple of years. Yeah, five times, yeah. Each, five people each time. Yeah, and what do you think that that brought in new viewers? Being able to go on that platform, um, from for for them or for me, um, for them definitely. Mm -hmm. You know the visibility of you know uh you know national TV. You know I mean outlet to uh basically put you up there so you could uh, showcase your skills and your your, your talent. You know is unmeasurable. Like you know, um, for me, I, I I believe so. You know, um, I believe so. But like you, you just can't like tell like you know. Mm -hmm. Where these uh, where these it's coming hit, yeah, from. where it's coming from, so you know. Well, maybe you'll be able to change that within time. Yeah. Now today, you have the return, cause he said he battled, but he never battled here. You yeah. have Cassidy versus Goods. Yeah, Cassidy versus Goods going down April twenty seventh in Atlanta, Georgia, at Club Mansion. It's going to be a movie. History will be made. Why Atlanta? I'm so excited. Why Atlanta? That's what we need to know. I mean, you know, Cassidy is from Philly. Mm -hmm. Goods is from New York, the mm -hmm. Bronx. We just wanted to do a, a mutual ground where, you know what I'm saying, you know, if we went to Philly, it would have probably been biased on Cassidy's side. If we in New York, mm -hmm. you know, Goods probably, you know what I mean, have a little bias, you know what I mean? So we had to take it and, and put it somewhere that, you know, the, the 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 states would be even, you know what I mean? And Atlanta is just a city I've never been in, and um, I just wanted to come show love to that market, and um, just you know what I mean, do it out there. Well, I think first of all, I used to watch all of Cassidy's freestyles. You know, he has some great music, and he's been going a while. Yeah, he's been going a while. You know, he does drop music here and there, and but now. This is money that you're investing. Mm -hmm. You're flying people out. You're getting a venue. You know, Cassidy probably ain't cheap, and a goods is not cheap neither. Mm -hmm. It's a business. How, yeah, it's a business, but are you gambling with this battle, or are you are you, nah, you feel like Cassidy is going to come and do what he needs to do? Cassidy, hands down, is one of the most respected battle rappers of all time, if not the res most respected. Right. I mean, it, I mean... He never been on my stage though, so this is the test though. Cause he said it himself. Cassidy said, "Yo, I battle, but 
I need to battle on URL. Yeah. I need to battle on URL. If it URL. don't happen on URL, it's not certified. It really doesn't count. Right. No disrespect to anybody else that's doing it, but that's just basically what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, I mean, people want to see you on the most respected battle league to, if you really going to do this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, Cassidy was known for battling in his right. career. You understand what I'm saying? So now to make the transition to come on, you know, the, a battle circuit and, you know what I'm saying, go up against, you know what I mean, somebody that really do this battle rap shit, which is good, mm -hmm. and do it good, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a real dope situation. You know, um, I think uh, I think he's definitely ready. I think he's excited. I speak to him, you know what I'm saying? He said he's bringing a pain. He yeah. said he's bringing a pain. And there is a trailer out for that as well. So if you would like to check the trailer between Cassidy versus Goods on the URL TV TV, check that out. Yeah, you're not gonna want to miss it. Tickets are available, and that's gonna yeah. be huge. Yeah, it's, Atlanta, it's gonna. Yo, man, this is this is this is this is gonna be hands down one of the biggest URL TV TV events that you know what I mean in 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 in, in the history of, of our movement. You know. You think so? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be that battle. This, this event, like, you know what I mean? Is, 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 if you didn't get your tickets, you, you, you're about to be, like, you know what I mean, dead. Because, you know what I mean, we, we don't, like, and I, and 80% I only... sold out right yeah. now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I'm going off of the interest. You know what I mean? The, 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 the interest of the people. Like, you know, it's like a more than a month left. And, you know what I mean? The shit is almost sold out. Right. You know what I mean? That's gonna that that tells you the magnitude of the what what this event is gonna be. Like it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I'm so hyped. I can't even wait. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 counting down the days. You know um you know because I know this is gonna be a, a historical you know what I mean event. I I just said, are you sure? Because I do know you do have another big battle. That's on another card. Oh, you yeah, got these yeah, things yeah, coming. Yeah, listen, We man, can't forget I'm that working, Loaded Lux man. versus Averb. Yeah, Loaded Lux versus Averb, you know what I'm saying, is going down June 8th in, in Houston, Texas. That's exclusive. Texas. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have the date. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's the date. I'm dropping the date. You know what I mean? It's June 8th. June 8th at Clubhouse uh, um, is Warehouse Live. Warehouse Live, you know what I mean? June 8th, Houston, Texas. We in a building. Averb versus Loaded Lux. It's going down. But now that you movie. mentioned. That's you another mentioned, movie. You mentioned Loaded Lux. And when you say movie, just, just, I, I just need to get into it. Cause this is, this is, you bought a casket with you? You <laughs> let, you let this man bring a casket. He had the obituaries against Calico. I mean, that's Calico. just part that's of it. That's legendary. Man. Yeah, that's part, that's what, that's what this is, man. It's, it's, it's theatrical. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, that separate the men from the boys. Like, you got to incorporate that type of style, that type of energy for your your, your performance. Mm -hmm. If you want to catch the people, you know what I mean, attention and, you know, you really want to outdo your opponent, you got to be creative. I think that was one of the most creative uh, points or times in the URL history. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. He got shout outs all around the world. All around the world. For that performance. And yes, Absolutely. Calico did a wonderful job. Yes, he did. But you have Loaded Lux yeah. versus Averb. Yeah. Averb is from St. Louis, St. Louis. And he has had some great moments too. Yes, he has. Like Averb is Big Gerald. Yeah, like that's Those how you talk moments. to your son. <laughs> that's so, how you talk to your son. These are two people you know that have mean? Nah, but yeah, that battle is gonna be crazy too. Mm -hmm. Like you know, and you know, they just been going back and forth for so many years. So to to actually, you know what I mean, get, you know, the business done and, you know, um have an opportunity to uh actually make it happen is is a real good look for the battle culture and a right. real good look for the URL TV dot TV movement. Yeah, I'm hearing Lux all over the radio. And then you have your artist you have Surf, who's a battle rapper also yeah. that's doing music. Yeah. He's on the radio. Yeah, everybody's working. Everybody is taking these platforms and opportunities and, and, and you know, cashing in on them mm -hmm. and just basically trying to create more opportunities from, you know, things and things that they love to do. Right. Which is music.
You know? And I do, I think you have three to four. I, I'm just trying to paint the picture of what happens when you battle on this platform and you, you work hard. I'm trying to paint the picture so you have about maybe five, three, three to five people that came from your platform that's on a television show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean. That's amazing. It's, the opportunities are endless, like, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. And that's why we do what we do. And we created this platform so we could create opportunities for all these aspiring artists, actors, comedians, you know, for the, vi- the, the so they, they, they visibility could actually uh, be seen out there. And it's crazy because when you say comedians, although she's just naturally funny, but Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi, Cardi B. B was also on the URL platform, maybe not rapping, yeah. but at one time you had something called Ring Car Girls. Yeah, 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 definitely, and definitely. Shout out to Cardi. She was there. Cardi, Cardi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout Tiana to Taylor Cardi. was around. Yeah, Tiana Taylor. You know, everybody, you know, show love because we, 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 we in the streets for real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I was just blessed to, you know, um, you know, have Cardi, you know what I'm saying, be a part of the movement. And, you know, she shows her love and respect for for for. for, for 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 uh my grind. Right. You know what I'm saying? For so many years, it's just like when I see her, she she gives it up. Like, yo, shut okay, so up. So there's still a pretty good relationship there. Oh yeah, I just did a show with her. You know what I'm saying? I just did a show with I her. I was so, hoping you, you know, could let the people know. <laughs> How was that? Oh, that How was, was amazing. That? that was amazing because she reciprocated that love tremendously. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and really like, you know what I'm saying, really gave it up. You know, and what um, and what show for the people that don't know? It's called Rhythm and Flow. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the um, show with Cardi B, Ti, and Chance the Rapper. Correct. Mm-hmm. You know, I got my own segment on there. You know, they had the nice. Uh, you know, they have a battle segment on there, so they had to call the Godfather battle rap. It's to, only right. You know, what I'm it's saying? only right. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out to my man Jesse Collins. You know, what I'm saying for that opportunity. And Car- Cardi definitely co-signed. Ti co-signed because you know I definitely did work with them in the past, and right. they respected the handle. So. They was just like, yeah, we could definitely have Smack as part of the cast. We would love to have him, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, we, we did what we did. So, you know, it's going to be real dope. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Did it did it make you want to look into acting? Um, It's really not <laughs> acting. I mean, it was more so of a hosting type of a situation. But, okay. like, it made me feel like I really want to do more Hollywood stuff, though. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure it out. I, like, mean, you know yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I want my own. Type Damn it, Hollywood! Production. No, I want my own production. <laughs> I want to produce my own shows. Okay, that's basically where I'm at with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's more so where my interests will lie. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, it are you starting your own your own show? I mean, I've been starting for. So, I, I've been starting it since mm-hmm. since the DVDs. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's just you know packaging and getting a good concept, and you know what I'm saying, really going. You know. um, but um, yeah, definitely. And just just before we go, battle rap. There's no judges. How do you decide who wins? What what, what is the end goal? Is there a winner? I mean, like, like with the URL TV TV movement, we haven't placed judges in in, mm-hmm. in in our infrastructure. You know what I mean? We won't always wanted this to create you know the opportunity to have the fans actually judge these battles. Right. You know, um, it caused you know debates, conversations. You know, everybody got their own way on how they actually judge battles. Mm-hmm. Like some people like you know may like you know somebody that's lyrical, where somebody might like somebody that you know make them laugh more. He's more funny, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or this cr- this guy had more crowd participation. The crowd was with him. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of different ways that, you know, and we see it every time. Because right. you could watch a battle and you'd be like, yo, he killed him. And somebody be like, nah, you bugging. You hurt. like, so, you know, that's why we never really incorporated judges. We just wanted the fans to just have debates and conversations about the material that we produced. You know what I mean? But there's also, you know, uh, you know, you know, segments that we do have judge. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? When we did the whole BET situation, you know what I mean? We brought in the celebrity judges where, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they you got to pick a winner. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we do both. You know what I'm saying? We really do both. But, like, you know, um, yeah. It, it I do believe depends. sometimes certain battles are so, first of all, if you're lyrical, you can't, you're not going to tell me that you could tell me who won right there. 
You're going to need to, it's certain battles that you need to watch a few times because there's things that you are going to miss. So I don't like the thought of a judge battle, but then you do have people that do like it. And I I ain't going to lie, I like guns and butter. You know, once once they start rapping about <laughs> once they start rapping Facts. about guns and butter, baby, yeah. I'm there. Yeah. I'm all for it. I like the I like yeah. the whole show. And you, man, you, you sell out all these big venues. These these yeah. this is not a corner store. For those that don't know, these yeah, are nah, this we is in not live nation store venues. Battle. We in live, live nation, nation venues. Battle. Live nation venues. You know, um, you know, we 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 working, we working. We got a good community of people that follow us, that love what we do and, and respect. You know, what I mean, our movement, and you know, we just try to cater to them as much as possible. We're bringing them in, um, giving them the battles that they want to see, mm-hmm. and uh, we're gonna continue to do that. You know, we're gonna continue to do that. We're gonna continue to push the culture forward. You know, what I mean, um, y'all already know. Rest in peace to my brother Tech Nine. You know, I just lost one of the. Uh, Somebody that was so uh instru- like so important to the battle rap culture, and um we just had a, a sudden death, and it's just it's just hard like you know what I'm saying. So I just want to just shout him out, give him a moment of silence, and just let the world know that you know what I'm saying we definitely gonna keep his legacy alive. Um and uh yeah man we 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 out here we working. We yeah working. and 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 with also that being said. The passing, the passing of a battle rapper, a legend like Tech Nine himself, he, you know, his family, you know, it, it was sudden. The family needed help with donations. Yeah. The goal was twenty thousand, and the culture raised over twenty thousand within two days. The culture. Yeah, that's definitely like we said. We we our own. We have our own, you know, infrastructure. Our own you know, um, um, laws and our own people that, that, that really support and appreciate what it is that we do. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that we was able to, you know, uh, show that support to him at, and his family at this time of need, you know? Right. And this is my very first interview with Vibe. And, you know, for those that don't know me, I come from the Smack White, the <laughs> URL platform. Um, it had to be maybe... I don't know, uh, 2013, I would say. Mm-hmm. 2013, and the way that this man embraced me from the second that he seen me, it, it was amazing. You know, I was going to battle rap events. Battle rap events is somewhere that you can go alone. You can go alone. You won't feel like you don't belong there because everyone's there to watch. It's mm-hmm. like going, you know, people hate when you compare it to basketball. It's but like it's live like, performance. It's like, like going to a, a, a basketball comedian game. comedian show or oh, yeah. a comedy show or going to a play. A Broadway play. That's a... You know? Nah. Broadway, it ain't... It ain't. Yeah. Broadway yeah, is a little... Yeah, I don't but, really like... Yeah, I, mean, I like to compare it to basketball because you have your, your stars, you have your yeah, players. You know, I like yeah. to compare it to I, that. I just said that because of the, 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 the performing arts. It's yeah. a performing arts. It's, okay. It's, you know what I mean? It's a... You perform I was thinking more like, of an you know interest I mean? level. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's all good, though. Like, but... um. Yeah, it's real dope, wanna, man. You gotta you. experience a, a URL TV TV event if Have you to. if you're a real fan of hip hop lyrics and lyricism and performances. Like you got it is just like you got you got to. Like, I think my first event was that BB. This is before I got with you. It was um with Calico and T Rex. Calico was my favorite. I said I gotta be up there. You probably won't even notice. I was standing right behind you, black hair, red lipstick, and you was just nice. Like your energy. Like you have this amazing energy. It was like, wow, Thank this you. this this how he is. <laughs> Anybody that wanna come around, come around. And I feel like even people that come from just to describe battle rap for me or for others, anyone you could be in a broken home, you could be going through things. Cause at that time when I was coming out, I was never in like my, you know, family, but I was with a guy at that time and he was cheating, doing whatever he was doing. I was lonely, I logged on online. I seen Queen of the Ring. I followed that. That's a female platform. And then I, I locked on to URL to figure out what the girls was talking about. And then I was like, wow, this is close. It's right there. And he's from Queens. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. I'm, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And I went. And from there, I, I just kept going. I kept going. One event, I was behind him. And and I was like, I he was a little, you had a, you had a cup or two that day. And I'm like, yo. Mm-hmm. You you look a little tipsy. He like, nah, I'm good. You just having a great, uh, amazing time. And I'm like, let me let me just tell you a few things behind you. 
And then his partner, Beasley, was like, smack Cole. Smack said he always wants you next to him. And from that day, I don't know if he remember, but from that day, I have no problem getting in no venue. I was there. And it, you don't understand. I felt you changed my life. Uh, or like that's, in that's all dope. honesty. Thanks, I traveled everywhere dope. because of you. Thanks. I appreciate that. that you know, that's what it's all about, man. I'm glad I could, you know, spread the the the, the opportunities for you to do what you do. Like, you know what I mean? That's why I'm blessed, mm -hmm. you know, because I create others' opportunity, and that's why I'm going to continue to receive my blessings. You understand what I'm saying? So I want to give everybody, I want this. I want to give as much opportunity. What you want, a Lambo? No, you know, which one? Nah, want? man, Lambo can't do nothing <laughs> for me. I just want to be able to pe put people in a position to accomplish their goals and live out their dreams. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. Cause you know that at the end of the day, that's 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 why we're here. We're gonna get down to the real. You know what I mean? If I could, you know, help somebody, you know, get to their calling on why they here for why they exist. And or, that right there, you know I, mean? I think that you. I'm a middle child, so I always needed a little extra attention. You know, a twin, a middle child. You know, she wasn't supposed to be here. My mama ain't know she was having twins. You know, always. You know, when you got two kids, sit your ass down. You know, all that. Mm -hmm. So when I got with you, I realized what I, because I knew I liked attention, you know, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I knew I liked to talk, but I didn't know, like, I knew I didn't want to just be sitting around just working for someone yeah. all day or just not being able to speak about things I'm interested in. Right. And I feel like being with you and seeing what goes on, no, I'm not doing the smack thing, but it made me gain interest. Like, dang, I want to do media. I want to cover hip hop. I want I want the people around me to have access to other platforms. Like I'm at the Vibe office today. Although Daytuan had an amazing interest in me mm -hmm. and he opened the door for me, but I'm here because of you. Right. I'm at, at this Vibe office. They they giving me a podcast and yeah, it's you're all a product. Of you're it. a product. You're a product of the, of the Smack movement, the Smack wave. That's why you're gonna get that love and respect wherever mm -hmm. you go at the end of the day because it's all real. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's all love though. Um. You know, is 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 like I I like I get off, like you know what I'm saying. Seeing <laughs> you, pause. Like, not, not, not like that, not like that, but like you know, like you know, <laughs> but, you know, it makes me feel real good. Let me dumb it down. It makes me, <laughs> yeah, man. You got kids me watching, feel man. Real good to see that. You know what I mean? You doing something that you love to do, and you taking advantage of the opportunities. That came from, you know what I mean, my existence. So, right. you know, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. And, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm always, you know what I mean, rep and support you and love you and try to push you and help you any way I can. That's why I'm here today. Yeah, I know you don't do it for the praise, but, yeah. you know, I do feel like people need to know, you know. Yeah. Parents, parents need to know. You know, when, once I told my mom about you, she was just like, oh, you with smack? No problem. Yeah. It's no problem. You know, yeah. now I'm 30, so, you know, but... Yeah. You know what? My industry age might be 26, something like that. Uh, you have to <laughs> but cut that. You have to cut that. <laughs> I got an industry age now. <laughs> but yes, um, um thank you. Thank you. Right, you so for the people that didn't know Smack White or was unsure of what battle rap is or unsure of the outlook on the hip hop culture, I feel like now you have it in a lump sum. And going forth, you will see some talent from his platform. Um, we will get some, which you guys consider mainstream artists, up in here. You know, because every artist, every artist had some form of battle, a battle rap in their life. Yeah. So we're going to get all that. Yeah. We're going to get all that. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, come out April 27th. Yeah, April 27th, Atlanta, Georgia, man, Club Mansion, URL TV presents the resolution, Cassidy vs. Goods. It's the main event. You know, um, there's a lot of other dope battles on that. I mean, battles on that card too as well. You know, the undercards is crazy. We got Turk versus John John and Don. Mm, Turk got, is a new star. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We got Rum Nitty versus T Top. Mm. We got Shotgun shit going up against Chef Trez. Amazing. We got K Shine going up against Tay hey, Rock. Rock. You know what I mean? I mean, the card is gonna be the, uh, like it's gonna be a movie. It's, it's definitely gonna be a movie. It's definitely going to be a movie. 
And if you are in that area, even if you ain't in that area and you can make it out there just to be a part of this history, I suggest you do so. It's, it, it's so hard to end because if you can't be a part of it, will there be pay-per-view available? Yeah, there will be pay-per-view available. You leveled up into you know pay-per-view, but the people know. Yeah, no, nah, pay-per-view is available. You know what I mean? Just for, you know, we established that connection and, you know, that... that uh, technology just to give access to the people that can't make it like mm -hmm. you know what i mean like you know um as we grew like we have fans all over the world that might not be able to be at an event but they could still be a part of it through the pay-per-view technology and um they could actually you know what i mean be right there with us while we you know what i'm saying while it's all going down so yeah that's a dope you know um technology that we incorporated into our infrastructure and um you know what i'm saying we want everybody to utilize it so open them order that pay-per-view you know what i mean april 27th it's, it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy please log on to the URL TV TV. you are locked into the chosen the new vibe episodes thank you yeah.